we'll try again with our video on how we convert the digital quilting files such as QLI to formats that our home embroidery machine can use. So if you've downloaded the file, and this is the one that I have in my um, blog, the link to it. So Ali's Bloom Free Patterns QLI format. Right click and extract the file. Extract. And when you double click, double left click and the file opens up, you can see that the um, icons all along the top here have got the Mbird um, icon on them. That shows that Mbird is associating those QLI files um, with those files. The ones down here on the second row are the JPEGs to those design files and in Mbird I have not linked the JPEG files to Mbird so that when I do a lot of my picture editing I don't have to have it open up in Mbird to start off with. So we will double left click on the file and bring up Mbird. So I'll show you some options that you needed to have selected. First of all over here on the right hand side you need to have all supported files selected. So that needs to be all supported files over there. When we go up to the top got options um, and down here in show you need to make sure that you have the show quilting file types ticked as well. Up in itemizer settings you need to make sure that you go down and the quilting files you'll find them down towards the end here and they will come up in both so make sure that you have those ticked. And I'm just going to go cancel it because I don't want to go through the whole process of the file um, checking. Also, under options, the quilting design stitch link um, is available for you to change those. When I stitched the file out the other day, I didn't change the stitch link. Uh, so it could have been a little bit longer. Now, I think the default setting is about 2.5 but once you change this the first time it will change back to what you have set as your default setting so I think it was about 2.5 so before you go change it make a note of what the default setting was so what happens if I have, for example take this up to about 5 the stitches will get fairly large on you just click out of the way there so you don't see that so I'm just going to put them back to what they were uh, not in that one I'm in the wrong one options quilting take it back to two go okay and I'm going to now go into editor and convert my file and save it etc so I'm going to select the hoop and I'll select the Janome the 230 hoop okay I'm going to click on it and then put it in the center and then I'm going to save it in the format that I'm using which is Jeff for Janome so you would show yours as Pez for brother etc center in hoop again I always do that just to make sure um, that it is centered in the hoop because I always assume that when it goes to the machine that it is centered okay and then save it now this is going to save back into the uh, folder that you opened up the QLI file from because it's now saving as a GEF file so it's a different file but if you start then um, playing around with this making trying to resize etc make sure you change the name so I'll just keep the original name because it is a different file go save and then you can just use the file however you like so I hope that's a little bit clearer for people Bye.